All right, guys, very quick video today. So what happened to Ethereum today? And what was the little drama about when it came to withdrawals with MetaMask and a few other services? So today at roughly around an hour ago, Infura, one of the backbones that provides data to Ethereum, a lot of Ethereum services went down. So they experienced a major outage. Well, as a lot of you guys probably don't know Infura, well, they have a lot of developers that use them, including MyCrypto, Compound, ZeroX Protocol, Coinbase, Open Zeppelin, MetaMask, and Binance, apparently. So during that outage, people couldn't withdraw from exchanges, and people thought it was a Ethereum rug pull or whatnot. And I think this is something that happens in crypto, you know, one of these backbone services go down and you can't use the service for a while. And then everyone's like, oh, I can't make transactions. Oh, no, I'm freak out. And I think a lot of that also is people wanted to make it a bigger deal so they can get Ethereum the cheap. Like, oh, my God, Ethereum centralized. It's going down. Rug pull. I don't know. It was, it was kind of like a funny hour. I was kind of panic a few people are panicking but anyways overall it was related to one particular service and it doesn't affect decentralization at all because you can run your own ethereum node you can provide your own services it's just that all these developers chose inferior out of convenience so you know they chose the most convenient option when they technically shouldn't but anyways the service is now restored. So if you look at Inferior status, they've identified the root cause of the problem. So today they had a minor outage of two hours and 19 minutes and everything is pretty much good to go. In terms of the reasoning behind why that is, it actually relates to some of code that developers released and some lazy server operators that didn't execute or implement the code so this is actually helpfully pointed out by nikita so in terms of what happened basically there was a minor fork basically it was it was a fork that happened because um, of newly released code that some um infura and block um, chair did not upgrade to so they were kind of on the wrong fork basically when that happened but it wasn't meant to be a contentious fork it was just a simple situation where they can just go through their client and type yo you can fix this by running a debug and you're pretty much good so just yeah anyways don't want to get into the technical details it's it's not contentious it's fine so overall i think it's not a big deal like i think people freaked out for when they were surprised and caught off guard when withdrawals from binance didn't work and you know cz had to type oh funds are safe and erc token deposit and withdrawals are back online and people were freaking out for those two hours overall there was no rug pull funds are safe no big deal here i think overall it does demonstrate that we should stop relying so much on on one company to provide all that data and all the backbone services. And this sentiment is also echoed with Eve 2. So I've been looking a lot at the Eve 2 launch and something that they strongly encourage you to do, this is on the Ethereum 2 launch pad, is to set up your own Ethereum 1 client and node. So whether it's Geth, Parity, or Besu, or Nevermind, Regardless, they, they don't want you to just rely on an Infura, Infura connection. Like That's the most lazy and easiest way to set up an Eve 2 node, but they're like, no, try not to do that. And I think this is something that we'll try to explore more in this channel. I've also been looking at how to run my own node. Of course, Eve 1 nodes are quite intensive. I've been looking at the specs. I've been looking at Anchor. So Anchor does provide the option to deploy a full GEF or a parity node by just like a one click deploy so yeah a lot going on i feel like eth has a lot of activity a lot of potential here and yeah we shouldn't get caught out by <laughs> this random bit of fun appearing anyways regardless guys thank you guys so much for watching this should be a short video hope you enjoyed it if you want more educational content check out my eve 2 guide that was up yesterday like all the things you need to know about eve 2 and decentralized finance check it out click it here we're good to go Thanks for watching. I'd like to take the time now to tell you a little bit about everything that's happening in the box mining ecosystem. First and foremost, if you guys like listening to all that's happening in crypto on the go, then I would highly recommend you checking out the box mining Bitcoin out of the box 
podcast. It's on everything. So it's on Apple Podcasts. It's on Google Podcasts. It's on Spotify. Just search it anywhere. Bitcoin out of the box. So just add that onto a playlist and let's just follow the new episodes when it's released. Next up, we also have the box mining newsletter. So this happens roughly bi-weekly. We give you an update of the latest that's going on in a very summarized, condensed format. Mm -hmm. 